Thank you actually for the privilege to reimagine the world through your eyes. Thank you for building better everyday lives for the many. The top five risks identified by CEOs at the World Economic Forum in 2020 are all linked to environment. This underpins food systems, water security, and a world safe from zoonotic diseases. All of these have material impacts on a company's operational cost, risk, profitability, and reputation. Sustainability is a meta trend, and it's not just because the sustainable development goals set them. In fact, it's been found that implementing the SDGs catalyzes new markets for next-gen prosperity in the trillions of dollars. Our attitudes to consumption and production are being rewired and rewritten. We're moving from eco-status to eco-standard. For example, Adidas tapped into the circular economy, turning plastic ocean waste into 11 million pairs of shoes. Ford and McDonald's are partnering up to create car parts for coffee waste. Uh, from coffee waste and this year the European Investment Bank committed to mobilizing a trillion euros of financing to the circular economy by 2030. We innovate for the SDGs to transform life. We need both dreamers and doers to change the world. 70% of the 169 SDG targets can be further enabled by applying new technologies already in development and being deployed. For example, Mercy Corps found sensors help to better report on the actual use of latrines and hand washing versus the in-person evaluation surveys, which had a huge self-reporting bias of over 40%. Using locally built drones for precision agriculture in Indonesia, um, local farmers were able to save 60% of their expenses by helping to spot treatment areas uh, with issues of soil fertility, crop disease, or water needs. And when IKEA Israel worked with product designers and the physically disabled to create a new product line, they were able to access and empower a new market, creating revenue and increase in revenue by 33%. For our world in which 15% of the population experiences disability, that's a billion people. And we are grateful every time that technology, business, finance, engineers, and civil society come together to solve wicked challenges. For companies that view emerging and frontier markets as their source of long-term growth, consumers in these markets could be worth $30 trillion by 2025. During COVID-19, disruptions that occurred across sectors in just one quarter were actually projected to occur gradually over a decade. So the new expectations in customization, instant feedback, autonomy, and deep sustainable practices are taking root in retail, finance, food, and more. And once created, these new expectations spread across demographics, markets, and sector. Consumers demand relevance. And it was wonderful to see that the Siemens Innovation Challenge places human-centered design at the core of the challenge requiring all entries to co-create with end users and embrace technology to create impact, all while tackling the issues of infrastructure, governance, upskilling, and commercial incentives for scaling. This pandemic has been the ultimate stress test of our local, national, global, and corporate system. We, the world, are sliding back at a time when we can little afford to do so. The COVID-19 crisis and resulting socioeconomic impacts are an unprecedented opportunity to regenerate economies and ensure growth happens within our planetary limits. I'm so happy to be with you here today to be part of the community that makes bold decisions to assertively direct technology to society's biggest challenges, deepening the pool of solutions. Making progress on the SDGs is possible when sustainable alternatives are widespread affordable, and just as good, if not better, than the legacy option. So once more, a big thank you to Siemens, ASME, Engineering for Change, and the finalists for building community resilience by making access to safe water and food simple and affordable. Thank you for helping to create a prosperous world by putting equity and equality at the heart of your design. Thank you.